what's going on everybody welcome to the channel today if you enjoyed this review please drop a like and please subscribe down below i appreciate all the support from everybody and we have an interesting pair of new balances in collaboration once again with Amy leon door and we will check these out so we have a nice black cardboard box in this stiff material which is nice sturdy box so it's gonna be nice to stack new balance Amy leon door in that gold foil up top and if we flip around to the label you can see we have an ALD New Balance 860 V2, men's size 13, retail is not on the side, but these were 150 US, and the colorway on here just says yellow, yellow. There is a little bit more to it. I don't know why it's only mentioning the yellow. And this release was a little confusing. They did have a pre-order a while back for, um, I think, longtime members, early access customers. I believe there was a raffle to enter for other pairs. The spring summer 2024 season hasn't started up yet, which will be this February. These might come out at the end of February. I will find the definite release date so you see it up there. And retail was 150 US and for domestic US customers, $12 shipping. So my total was 162. And this is what we are looking at today. So this is the colorway I got, not just yellow. So the yellow yellow tag actually confused me because there is a vault colorway, which I will throw a photo up there alongside this one and an all cream white colorway, like a sail color. So there were three color versions of this pair that released. And I purchased my pair, I believe it was in August of 2023, somewhere around there. I will find that date and check that. But yeah, it took a long time. Amy Leondor did send me updates throughout the process of manufacturing, when the materials came in, when it started manufacturing. And then after that, once they were done, it shipped pretty fast. I got my pair this past week that just came in. And this colorway is very, very wild. Almost screamed like a 90s iteration to me in terms of the colors and the vibrancy. So I really was on board with it. For 150 at a New Balance, that's pretty inexpensive. If you're familiar with New Balance's prices, especially for their 990s, V3, V4, stuff like that, I think they go up to like 220 230 retail. So 150 is not too bad. Once again, though, it was 162 Amy Leon Door, I think you have to spend about 250 to get free shipping. So you have a weird, hard... Um, overlaid leather here in a black with some of that yellowish vault colored um, markings going on the toe box a little bit of striped marking right here in a red and silver trim you have a orange mesh on the toe box orange mesh over here on the panel a different style overlaid mesh so the mesh you're looking at here is actually underneath this and there's a screen kind of mesh right above it you can kind of see the difference in how you can see through the circles here and over here they're covered you have the New Balance logo in a rubber material. Underneath that, the cut you see where my finger is on now, that is a leather material matching this and the striping here going to the toe box. A lot of colors going on, different material mix, which is always nice to see. You have the energy here, like the New Balance logo and energy, like energy, and vault kind of colored neon green midsole. A little bit of red coming out of the shank piece from the midsole here. A little bit of orange on the back part. Some hint of like an aquamarine blue. A lot of vault green going on with the black on the outsole wild wild colors you have the ald logo back here which is the crest with the roses or the flowers and you have 860 v2 stamped in right there on that little tab there is your medial side a little bit of a different pattern on the midsole but all the color blocking is the same let me rotate it so you can just get an idea and no perforation on the toe box once again you have a knitted mesh so a little bit lighter of a material you have the New Balance logo right down here at the bottom of the laces. Inside, you have a black lace with a vault piping. You also get a vault green or a darker or <laughs> neon green and a orange with green piping. So very interesting that you get two extra pairs of laces included with the one that is already laced in there. A little bit of vault on that lace loop. There is your lace loops or lace eyelets going through the laces in that leather material. One part's vault, one part's black. So they do have a little bit of a mix in color there as well. Amy Leon door in that red and silver, just like down here and here going along the tongue. The tongue is that black mesh material all the way down. And if I move the laces out the way, we can take a quick look at the vault underside of the tongue, your black lining that goes around and then your botanical green, which is Aimee Leon Dor's company color, and the New Balance ALD insole. So, real quick, you will see they are color blocked the same. Same logos and placements along the sneaker for the crest, the N, the 860 V2 stamping, and the Aimee Leon Dor on the tongue. 
Both insoles, I believe, are also the same. Yes, they are. Same writing and stamping. Overall, I felt this pair was a solid true to size buy. So I would go with your true to size. Unless you have like really, really wide feet, of course, always go up half a size. But I'm talking from an average foot person. I felt they were true to size. Which colorway did you like the best? Do you like the one I reviewed today? The vault that I showed in a photo or the sale pair better? I'm curious what everybody thinks. 150 US, let me know what you think of the price as well. ALD is a solid brand. If you haven't heard of them and you're just checking them out, you're just hearing about them now because of my review, they're a little bit expensive for their clothing, but I think their quality is really good. Just watch what they've been doing recently because some of their brands or some of their clothing items have been offset and some are made in China. Look for their made in Canada or made in Portugal or made in Turkey. They have really, really, really good quality. If you look at the description and the details, I would double check that before you buy something, especially if you want to spend 65 to 90 dollars on a t-shirt, which is expensive. But other than that, enough about Amy Leon Dora. Let me know what you think of this pair down below. I will try to answer back to everybody. Thank you for the support. Stick around. I have more good stuff coming shortly. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right. Bye.